Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial. We'll be having a look at individual and population-based strategies to try and promote physical activity. So first up, there's a few different strategies that can be used. So the, you can approach it from an individual level, and that means print and web-based media, counselling and processes of change, and then there's also a population level, so a group of people, and that includes environmental change, policy, and mass media. So first up, we'll look at individual strategies um, in terms of print and web-based media. So that might come in the form of a pamphlet at a medical clinic. Um, it might just be a poster at a school or a gym. Um, so it's basically anything that's been printed. And web-based media um, is quite powerful. So things in terms of Twitter and Facebook can help individuals access information. Even things like um, the Biggest Loser website where people sign up, anything on the internet is web-based media. So individual strategies in terms of counselling is quite different to um, media. So you've got one-on-one -on -one advice from a practitioner, um, could be a doctor or your physio, even a personal trainer comes into this category and they'll assess how ready someone is to actually change their exercise levels. Um, the counselling doesn't necessarily have to come in the form of you know sitting down in a psychologist's office. Um, counselling is just basically um, someone giving advice um, and in this case it's advice on how to change their physical activity behaviour. Um, now there might be, um, say, a person who could find that they exercise better when they enlist social support. So, you know, there'd be no point in prescribing them individual exercises such as running. So a, a counsellor is someone who will try and assess how ready someone is to change their activity behaviour and then um, actually go ahead and employ some strategies, give that person some strategies to change. Um, and that process that they use is um, called the processes of change and they actually tailor an exercise program around that. So you can't just go and assume that someone is ready to exercise. Um, you can't assume that they're going to exercise the way you think they're going to exercise. So you have to um, make sure that you run a questionnaire with them um, or an interview of some sort and then assess their readiness to change and then assess how you're going to actually help them change. Now when looking at environmental change, so this is moving away from counselling, um, there's two types of environment and that there's and there's two ways of changing it. So you can have the natural environment which includes the climate and geography like hills and then the constructed environment which is anything that's man-made um, like buildings. So you can remove barriers or add resources to these two environments to help people exercise. So for example on the screen there you've got um, in the natural environment you can add shark nets in popular beaches um, but that removes a barrier to safety and then you can also add walking paths through parklands and that makes people more likely to go and do it. So you either want to remove a barrier or add a resource. So in the constructed environment, um, removing a safety barrier. So often, you know, you don't want to let your children um, play in an area that is unsafe. So if you have 40 kilometer an hour um, signs in a school zone, then children can um, safely walk to school without being um, fearful of being run over. And also if you add bus stops near recreational centres and parks, that's encouraging people to catch the bus to get to those areas because not everyone lives near one. Um, so to have access to those areas, if you have a bus stop and a bus run that goes past them, people are more likely to use them. Looking at population-based strategies um, in terms of policy. So policy is usually rules or legislation of some sort or a, a common standard practice that's employed. Um, so legislation is actually law and, and that's enforced by the government. For example there you've got no smoking inside public venues. So that's it's actually illegal to do that. So a legislation is something that everyone must abide by um, and that there's no question about it. If you've got an organisation policy though that's a rule that's enforced by an organisation. So it's not illegal to go against it but 
um, it's the common practice. So, for example, SunSmart schools require children to wear hats and sunscreen and that sort of thing. So, um, it's enforced at the school level, um, but it, you know, no one's going to get arrested if they don't do it. But the the school requires their um, students and their staff to abide by those rules. All right, mass media. So. Again, media is looking at anything that's got to do with publications. So the idea of mass media is to reach a large group of people with the same message. Um, you've got things like, um, you know, TV, radio, cinema ads are fantastic at advertising, billboards, posters, print media such as magazines. Um, you get a lot of magazines about health and fitness these days, which are fantastic. And then there's web-based information again that can fit into there. Now, there are a few international initiatives that try to promote physical activity. One of them is active travel, and that tries to promote people walking and cycling to work or to school. Walk 21 promotes walking within cities around the world. Um, rather than taking um, transport of some sort, you know, you're trying to promote that physical activity there. Then you've got initiatives for populations. Now, a really um, popular one is the Measure Up campaign, and there was heavy advertising for that on TVs and on the internet, and um, that used, used to come with a pack with um, a free tape measure that you could actually print out for yourself and measure your waist. So it was very easy to um, sort of understand what the Measure Up campaign was about because all you needed to do was measure your belly, basically. Now, Choose Health, Be Active is for um, elderly citizens, um, and so it's trying to promote being active later on in life. And Healthy Spaces, health, Healthy Places is trying to promote, um, you know, aesthetically pleasing areas for people to exercise in and um, making sure that people have positive places to engage in physical activity. All right, initiatives for populations. Um, I've only got a single one here, which is the Better Health Channel. The Better Health Channel gives um, an enormous amount of information on um, diet, on exercise, on illnesses, on medicines, and it's run by the Australian government, and it's um, a fantastic hub of information based on anything to do with health. So just in summary, you've got strategies that can work on a population level via advertisements and the internet. Then you've got strategies for individuals that um, can use print or web-based media, or you've got that one-on-one -on -one counselling and the processes of change. And also if a strategy is going to target an individual, a tailored program is advisable.